Electric Rainbow, the idea is that it's an all-inclusive style of tattoo studio. Everybody is welcome. As long as you're not a complete c you can come in and get tattooed and have a good time. You can beat that out, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can just have like, yeah. yeah. BBC Radio Cardwell. So we've been talking climate. Let's shift a gear now and talk about tattooing. Okay, so things are getting really autumnal now in Newquay. The weather's changing a little bit, the wind's, the wind's changed and it's getting a little bit chillier. I don't know whether there are any statistics on this, but my gut feeling is there is a far larger proportion of the population now with a tattoo than maybe at any point in history. All sorts of people, from young to old, men and women. And I'm delighted to say we're going to have a chat now uh, about the Youth Art Connect Art Club happening tomorrow in Newquay. The team set up a workshop and a talk on the tattoo, the history of tattoos by the owner of Electric Rainbow Tattoo. Joining us to tell us more is event organiser Graham Cullis and Matthew Grip from Electric Rainbow Tattoo. Graham, first of all, what made you want to stage this event? Well, obviously Matt's a really good friend of mine. We are looking for, for workshops to add to Youth Art Connect. The whole point behind Youth Art Connect is to introduce the therapeutic benefits of art to young people and to inspire them and to show them avenues of, you know, how they can use art as a profession and go down different routes. So I thought, what better way to do that than get someone as awesome as Matt Grit and as crazy as Matt Grit to come in and talk about tattoos and do some artwork slash art workshops with them. Well, let's have a chat with Matt now. Hi, Matt. What's on my love? How's it? Lovely to talk to you. So, yeah. so when you, you give your talk, what do you think are the high points of what you're going to be saying? What do you want people to know about this long art? Um, with regards to English tattoo history, I'd focus more on the modern side um, because it's such a big area to cover, but we have such a big and grand, like vast thing with the tattoo history in the UK. So for me, when I have to talk to the, you know, the young people about it, I want to show them the stuff that they're going to be more readily interested in and stuff that's more acceptable and available for them to learn about. And then eventually I would like to leak in a bit more about, you know, estuaric and Eastern Polynesian practices because it's such a beautiful history and it needs to be continued and needs to be learned about, you know. Art Connect is happening this morning. I have literally arrived. We're back in 28 Mount Wise. So we're setting up now. Matt's gonna come down and the kid's gonna come and it's gonna be epic! Let's do this! It's only a little bit late. <laughs> right, you have at least 20 minutes of swearing, Matt. Now, where can I go with this? Oh, it's penguin is uncle cheese. All right, he's got it out. He's got it. Out. He's got it out now. He's got it out. BBC Radio Cornwall. Let's check in on a project we've spoken about before. Youth Art Connect. It operates in Yuki. It's a mental health service, a free monthly group involving art. Serena, you've made it. <laughs> Amazing. This is Serena. Take a Graham Cullis started it back in March and they've got a big event. Tell uh, us all about it. So, well, we're running an exhibition for the young people, the groups that we run. Would any of you be up for a gallery exhibition? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. would you be keen for that? What I would like you to start thinking about, the theme for the gallery is what mental health means to me as in you. It can be anything, whatever you want to express that feeling. Look who is here, everybody. It's Mr. Teddy. So Youth Art Connect, basically, our tagline is to introduce the therapeutic benefits of art to young people. What happens? Mal's ticking quite badly because he's getting a bit excitable. So. Mal, Mal, what's happened? I've got pain in my face. <laughs> so we've given them the theme, what mental health means to me. It's going to be a very powerful exhibition of expression. Yeah, so we, we just really want to basically highlight, raise some awareness. And also we're going to be raising some money for the club as well. It's at North Coast Asylum in Newquay, which is a new gallery, which is in a nice, beautiful church space. 
uh, and they're, they're running that event for us entirely for free as well. They always envision that they will be doing events like this to help the community. So a little thing we've got as well for them, we've got 3D printers in Launceston. They're making frames for us for free, which is amazing. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Graham Cullis there from Youth Art Connect in Newquay. And uh, you can find out more by searching for them. The big weekend is actually Saturday the 4th of December. So a little while to get your ducks in. <laughs> Okay, today is the end of an era. I'm leaving Newquay in a couple of days and uh, now I have to pack up the studio which I've spent the last few months. It's a little bit emotional right now. But it's been an absolute joy painting in here. I've bashed out quite a few paintings in this room. Yeah, it's been a magical experience. Thank you very much, Newquay. And now it's time to get the show on the road. And then mum and dad are coming back home for a little while. It's been an absolute incredible ride here in Yuki. Met so many cool people. I've really enjoyed every moment of it. And I've enjoyed all the smiles that have come along, all the smiles I've given, all the smiles I've received, and all the smiles that have been beaming across my face. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. This is it. I'm out of here. Thank you very much, Nuki. See you next time. Yes. Let's go. So, listen up, people. If you made it this far into the vlog, then you're obviously a massive legend, and it's probably touched you in some way, or inspired you. If you were lucky enough to watch this before the 4th of December, 2021, I am personally inviting you to the Youth Art Connect exhibition which is happening at the North Coast Asylum Gallery in Newquay. Also, for any keen art collectors, all of the artwork will be for sale with a 50% profit split between the young artists and the Youth Art Connect CIC. I myself will be displaying three original paintings from my Karma Card project collection and a newbie one which at the time of recording this I still have not finished painting. For more information about my Karma Card project and how you can support me as a mental health ambassador while receiving some of my art and spreading love and positivity around the world, please go to patreon.com forward slash Art. The last exciting thing I've got to tell you is that we're also having an after party for the young artists at the Dead Famous Bar in Newquay, where we'll have rock indie BBC introducing act Haunt the Woods on stage at 8pm for an all ages show. After 10pm for the over 18s, we'll have DJs Phoenix Fox and Danny B throwing down some tracks until the early hours. So if you want to come to the after party, the ticket link is in the description. All proceeds for the after party will go straight to Youth Art Connect CIC. And if you've ever needed a better reason to subscribe to my channel, then I'm going to be spending the next few weeks at my parents' house. And as everyone knows that watches my channel, my parents are hilarious. Good is. What is going on here, Sasha? So you did that to Sasha? What's going on, Sasha? What's happened now? What happened? Who did that? Did Mel do that?